to modify multiple points using the Wits tool. Now you can find the Wits tool found in the Illustrator toolbar and you can also then use one point. You don't have to use multiple points but you can use one point and modify the width for that. But you can actually select multiple points in that width. So just go there to the Wits tool and just going to create some points all the way down. These are width points. I'm just going to click there yeah, just drag it out, just drag that out, drag all. Obviously you can change it any number of things. You can actually see the settings there. You've got a little box that tells you the, the side one and side two, and obviously the total as well. So you can just drag that out. You can also click on, double click on it to actually modify it individually if you want to actually change it non-interactively. So once you've actually got that, what you can do, just go to the point, just go to one of those points, click, and I'm gonna go alternating points. I'll click on one, and then miss one and then go on another one, click that, click there, click there, click there, just go down so you can actually, basically the wider part I'm actually modifying this point. So all those wider points I'm just dragging out so you can see that all change. Key thing, hold the shift key down when you're doing that. So you just select each of those points and you can create some nice sort of wavy designs very quickly. Now, you can see that the size is not actually, and you can also move up and down as well. At some point, it will stop moving. You can't push it down further. It won't go over the other points. So uh, now I'm just going to go for the small, the inner points there. And again, holding the shift key and the top one there. And then you can just resize that. You just see those change. And they're approximately about the same, but they're not. They're not all equal. So you just go down. You can see they are sort of different. And like I say, you go up. And you can go only so far and then it will stop and you can pull it down again if you want to do that as well. Right, so you can just go there and you can create all kinds of shapes. Now what you can do once you've actually done that, of course you can save the actual design, save to the library. You can also save the profile if you actually want to save the profile and use it for future work. So now I'm just going to, you can select two points if you want. You don't have to select all of the points or five of the points or whatever. You just select maybe two and then modify it. So you can see all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes. Now once you've actually got the shape, what you can do, you can go to the object menu and you can expand the appearance. So you can just, unfortunately it does create a lot of points, but it still creates some interesting shapes very quickly and easily. Now you can of course use it with brush strokes and other things as well, not just obviously with a line. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.